In this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to take a star and make it negative luminosity. This makes it cool things instead of heat things. So instead of being like a great big ball of fire, it's like a big ball of ice. Then we're going to try to make a habitable planet that orbits it. I have three different theories that could work. Number one, create a planet with a really thick atmosphere to cause a greenhouse effect to heat it. Number two, create a moon that orbits really close to a gas giant so it's heated by tidal forces and then make that moon habitable. Number three, create a binary star system where the negative star and a normal star orbit each other and then put the planet around them. All right, we're just gonna start and we're gonna put the sun in here. And so the first theory we're gonna try is a really thick atmosphere. So if we actually just scroll down to, or to right here, luminosity, and then click this little arrow, you can see negative luminosity. And if we turn this on, and that's what it looks like, negative luminosity. If we just put Earth here, speed up the time. So this is what it looks like over a long period of time. It's about a week every second. The star freezes the planet. Just like that. So now we have to try to make a habitable planet with this star. Let's start with a random rocky planet, I think. Okay, so here's our planet. So it is absolute zero. It is the coldest you could possibly get. So let's just start with that atmosphere. Atmosphere mass, let's just try 10 Earths to just get it really thick. And then also for atmosphere layers, let's just turn it up to a thousand and see if that does anything at all. I'm not sure if it will though, because greenhouse gases, they just trap the heat from the sun. They don't produce any new heat. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working. You can see it's still absolute zero. So this planet is literally the coldest you can possibly get. So this does not work. On to theory two. All right, so the next theory is to create a tidally heated moon. So let's bring Jupiter in here and let's actually put it pretty far away and then let's actually make it bigger. I'm gonna do 10 Jupiters just so we can get the biggest tidal effect possible. Let's put a random moon that orbits it. So what we kind of want to do is to have it be an elliptical orbit. We want it to be pretty close. So maybe like there and then it gets a point where it's pretty close like that. So we'll see how that works. We just don't want it to get ripped apart, which it definitely could. So let's watch it. Oh yeah, too close. You can see it's getting ripped apart. So let's just delete that. Okay, so we got another one here. So we're actually gonna pin the surface temperature right here so we can watch that. And let's grab this. We'll try that because I just don't want to make it too bad yet. Let's go 0.6 Earths because that's like the smallest we can get to like comfortably hold water. I'm actually worried that's gonna be too close too. So you can see it is actually rising. So this might work. So let's just like uh, adjust it to make it habitable real quick. The average temperature is already good. So let's add some water to it adjust the sea level let's put some water on it like right there and then also add an atmosphere not for any heating just for life and we can see boom it's habitable um let's make it a little bit prettier so if you actually lived on this planet it would be very very dark this is day and this is night okay i think it's getting a little too warm so i'm just gonna bring it so its orbit is I think the atmosphere is probably helping it heat now. Okay, it's staying still. All right, we did it. Okay, so here's a habitable planet. Well, technically it's a moon, but uh, it's the size of a planet um, orbiting a negative luminosity sun and it's habitable. Yeah, 63.3% chance of life. Uh, that's pretty impressive. So actually I'm gonna save this system. And if you'd like this system, the link will be in the description for the habitable moon. Theory number two worked. On to theory number three. Okay, so theory number three is a binary system. Do the sun and then another one, probably about here. Um, okay, and then we make one of these negative luminosity. Negative luminosity. And let's make sure these are orbiting okay. There we go, that's a much more stable binary system. So if we create the bear center again, I wonder if you could put something right in the middle. Let's put the planet right in the middle. If we replace the berry center with a random rocky planet, do you think it'll stay in the middle? Oh my goodness, it will. Oh, okay, well, it won't. It won't, that was, that was a joke. So let's put a planet now, probably about here. We'll see if that stays in orbit. Nope, probably a little bit further than here. No, we're gonna have to do it pretty far, I think. Okay, there we go. We got one. 
Let's actually just turn up the luminosity um, on the hot sun. Let's actually make it a little bit bigger. Let's try eight. So if we look at the habitable zone, we can see that we want this planet to be in the green one. It's actually a little bit bigger. Right there, perfect. So we have the negative luminosity one here and the normal one, and then this planet will be in the green of the normal sun. So let's take this planet here. Let's see what we got. It's all ice it looks like right now. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it one earth size. And then let's just click melt water so we can just see it. But then we'll make sure that it's gonna not freeze over time. Perfect. And then for atmosphere, let's add an atmosphere. I'm just gonna set the average temperature to 30 to see if it goes down. So it looks like it is slightly going down. So if we add another atmosphere layer, still not enough. Let's try 10, 100. Okay, that's starting to work now. Okay, I think 80 is gonna be perfect because it looks like it heats up when it passes by the sun, but then when this sun's closer, it doesn't. Okay, so now we got this planet and then let's rename it to, okay, we'll call it binary life. And let's check the habitability. 69.4, that's very good. Um, add some city lights, vegetation, perfect. So theory number three works too. Um, we're gonna save this one too. And if you'd like to see this one, it'll also be in the workshop in the link in the description. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Universe Sandbox content, be sure to leave a like on this video so I know you want to see more. Please make sure to subscribe and, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.